as a cinematographer, you're not recreating the world. You're recreating what the audience's perspective is and how do you shape that perspective? There's always room for another cinematographer who's talented, who sees the world through their own interpretation of the script, through their own experience, their own pain, through their own bringing. They have that already. That's that's given to you because you've experienced that. Diving Bell and the Butterfly was one of those movies that I went to school for. The script says that the main character wakes up and he goes in and out of consciousness and he starts seeing the world as he's coming out of the consciousness. What does that mean? Now it's up to cinematographer to discover that language, right? I had a thing that would change the camera speed from, from, from 24 frames to 6 to 12. Then I had another gizmo in my left hand that would throw the shadow out of the sink so, so all of a sudden the image becomes smeared. You know, and then on the top of it, I was bumping sometimes the focus because it was a shift and tilt lens and I wanted to that kind of a organic feel of, of image. <laughs> On Lincoln, as, as Daniel is writing the letter, I have a big light above, above shooting down and burning the kind of Bob Richardson, burning his hands, you know. And Stephen says, where's the light coming from? Is that skylight? He's being kind of cheeky. I said, no, there's no skylight. Looks good, right? Yeah, it looks good. Okay, good, moving on. <laughs> so use the light and shadows and darkness and, and, and silhouettes and, and smoke and color, you know, to tell the story.